So it is my pleasure to present um, our student ambassador, Victory Yinka Banjo. She's joining us all the way from Nigeria. For those of you who are not familiar with our program, we have teams of girls from all over the world. Um, Victory was part of our 2019 regional winners. Um, so I will let her take it away and share with us her experience. Go, uh, take it away, Victory. Hi, everyone. Okay, can you hear me? Okay. I'm guessing you can. Okay, so I'll just go ahead. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> like um, um, Judy said, my name is Victory. Um, I'm from Lagos, Nigeria, and I participated in Tech Innovation in 2019. And for the 2021 season, I'm actually a student ambassador because I love Tech Innovation that much and I didn't want to leave. Um, right off the bat, if you are a young person here who hasn't been a part of Tech Innovation before, and you feel like technovation is a super intimidating process and you're not good enough and it's just not something you can excel in or thrive in and you you're skeptical because you don't know how to code or you don't know how to develop a business trust me i was in your shoes in 2019 and i'm here to like discard that myth it is not that deep um trust me when i say that you are meant to be here and i'm going to share with you my story so that Hopefully you're inspired in some small way or the other. So in 2018, in January to be precise, my mom sent me the link um, to register for Technovation. And I totally chickened out and I didn't register for the 2018 season because I still felt like I wasn't good enough. Um, then in 2019, at the start of the year, no, in, at the end of 2018 to towards December when I was just about to turn 15, she sent it to me again. and. I didn't like jump into it, you know, feeling like, well, I'm totally going to do this. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to feel like I'm going to win. You know, it wasn't like that at all. It was, it was just like, okay, why don't we just give it a shot? Because the thing about um, getting rid or discarding the imposter syndrome is that you have to jump into the deep end sometimes. I mean, to learn how to swim, you don't just like walk into the pool. Um, sometimes you just have to put yourself in situations where you step out of your comfort zone and you're not entirely comfortable. And that's what I did. So when my mom sent me the link the second time, I was like, okay, I'm going to do the 2019 season. And I didn't know anybody in my school who was interested in tech. And I, I felt like I was the only one, but that was, I was, that was so false. I hadn't asked any questions. And then I did, I asked questions. So I was like, I approached about two girls and they were like, of course we're interested. And just like me, they knew nothing about coding. We were so like we were novices and like looking back, I wonder how we had so much courage to just take that step. And we did. So um, we started the um, 2019 season, fast forward to August, we did become African regional winners. So we went pretty far. I remember the sleepless, no, okay, let me say sleepless nights, but I remember the overnight meetings we'd have at my house. And it was pretty difficult and challenging because my mom traveled for four months and I have younger siblings. So I was taking care of my siblings, we're balancing it with schoolwork. And it was just a lot of things. And there were times where we felt like giving up, but I thank God for the support system that Technovation has. We had an amazing mentor and an IST teacher who was always there for us. Um, we had a chapter ambassador who we could reach out to. She replied our emails instantly. And then we had each other, my team, we were four. Um, if you look at the picture in the middle, that was like our fifth ideation meeting because we had like, we kept scrapping ideas and starting over and we just never felt like our idea was good enough until we went out on a trip and we came up with Frostpark. So Frostpark is an app that solves the problem of vehicle construction in Lagos, Nigeria, which is what our app was about. And um, briefly, because I'm, sh um, I think the link is on screen because I'm not seeing the slide right now. Um, but you can check out our pitch video if you want to know more about what our app solved. But in really simple terms, if you parked your car and you came back to find um, another park, car parked behind it in a manner that was obstructed, um, so you basically get screwed. So like, let's say you park your car at the supermarket and then because there's like a lack of parking lots, I'm sorry, parking spaces, you can't get out when you get back because you don't know who the person is who parked behind your car and you are obstructed. I hope I explained that well, but if I didn't, 
it will be much clearer. So our app solved that problem by allowing users to communicate with each other, even when they were super far away from their cars. So by notifying people um, when they're about to get obstructed and then allowing them to like exchange contacts and just to communicate via our app's interface. Um, and I keep emphasizing this because I really don't want it to seem like a barrier because I remember knowing nothing about coding, but then there was just this badass technovation curriculum and then my app inventor textbook and super amazing mentors and everything. Um, like one thing that I really want to emphasize and I will round up soon because I do know that I talk a lot is that um, the imposter syndrome is a scam. And it is just something that everybody goes through. Like, I'm pretty sure everyone in the room here, I feel like that's something we should have done in the raise hands section. Like who here still has the imposter syndrome? Cause it's just, you, you probably never get rid of it, but it's like, just keep going. Always keep going. Like always trying to be your best self. I, I've learned that the hard way. Like I always tried to compare myself to other people and I'm still learning how not to do that. I'm just trying to be, be the better version of myself. And because of Technovation, I had to go through this entire learning process where I learned so many things about myself. Um, I learned what I can do. I learned how I work. I learned how to interact with people. I learned how to not be like super afraid when I have a mic in my hand because our live regional pitch was definitely an experience. <laughs> and um, just having the community in Technovation like seeing other girls excel from past seasons was motivating enough and seeing women in tech and women in STEM is what inspires me because when you can relate with people who are just like you I mean you're not just seeing you're seeing people who are underrepresented like you in this um field in this competition in this contest it's it's an amazing thing um and now okay no in 2019 after we won um the title of regional winners. I spent my summer teaching people who couldn't afford um, coding classes how to develop their own apps on App Inventor. And that was an amazing experience. And it really like spread my interest in technology education, um, which is one of the reasons I'm now a student ambassador wanting other girls to experience what I experienced. And I also started my own coding club at my school just because I really enjoy teaching other people what I was able to learn um, relatively on my own. Um, and I really just want to be part of the people who can bridge that gap. And if not for Techtivation, I wouldn't have known that. If not for Techtivation, I wouldn't have known that I really enjoyed that. So it was, it's such a huge discovery process. And I, I'm saying this like for the last time, I knew nothing when I started, um, but I know a lot more now and I'm so eager to learn. And my journey as a student ambassador has been like it's just getting started and I can't wait to see what unfolds in the next um, season, in 2021 season. And um, yeah, <laughs> I really hope I covered everything. I'm like glancing through my notes, but just do it. Like just take that step and register for Technovation. Like, like Nike says, just do it. Like once you start, you won't stop. Once you start, you will want to finish. You want to get to the end. To get rid of the imposter syndrome, you, you just need to put yourself places where you've never been before. And that's how you learn, that's how you grow, that's how you develop, and that's how I develop. So all the best to everybody in the room. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing, Victory. Thank you so much for that. That was a very inspiring speech, and I fully agree with everything that you've said. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pass it off to Ophelia. 